Finally, to our top plays of the week, a solid mix this go around with football, volleyball, and soccer all represented in the top five this weekend. So let's get it started with number five. Hayes in football taking on Shiloh. Skyhawks in the red zone. Pass across the middle's tip. Dawson Bruner is there to take it, and he wouldn't be brought down from there. A full head of steam, breaking tackles and breaking free. A 94-yard pick six. More from this game in just a second. But first, number four, Century Soccer hosting Mandan. And this game was all Patriots. Part of that, thanks to Anthony Cleary, a chip-in goal here just one minute into the game. Two minutes later, he heads one to himself, gets the touch for his second of three goals in the first half alone. A century rolls to an 8 0 win. Number three, staying with soccer, Jamestown visiting Bismarck. Demons with a throw in and a shot from outside, but Ryan Larson there for the save for the Blue Jays, laying out for it in the net. Beautiful execution on his part. A shutout from him helps the Blue Jays escape with a 0 0 tie. Number two, you marry volleyball back at home against Upper Iowa. Just watch Kaya Suker laying out nearly into the scorer's table, keeps the point going. Peacocks try to get it back, but Nakaya Ellis denying access to the net. That's a good way to get Marauders fired up, but they'd fall at home. And my top play this week, back to Shiloh versus Hazen. Bison looking towards the end zone, rolling out of the pocket, but the only thing to be found is Michael Foggerland, and all he needs is one hand. The superhero catch saves a score as Shiloh gets the win. Fogerland gets the top play of the week. Pretty good list this week. Pretty impressive.